Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your girl Janice. Um, it's been a while since I've been on here. There's been a lot of things going on with me. Um, retired in the army in July and um, just focusing, you know, spending time with my kids. Something I haven't been able to do for years. So <laughs> doing the whole, you know, domestic thing, which I'm not really used to, but I guess I'm getting used to. So anyway, I just came on here right quick because I wanted to do um, a quick hair journey video um, in 2008 February I had cut all my hair off um, wasn't because it was damaged or anything it's just that every mm, couple years I like to cut it all off and start over again but I think the main reason why I cut my hair was because I was um, my husband and I were about to make our um, last appointment to Iraq and I did not want to go down there and deal with the water and the dirt and breakage especially with the heat my hair does not do well with heat at all so um, I decided I was gonna cut it all off but well I went and I went for over a year you know very short my hair was extremely short um, but I decided to grow it back in 2009 because my husband wanted me to grow my hair back and he was tired of everyone thinking that I was a man because I am um, six feet and in uniform and a cap you know I can easily get mistaken for a man I don't know how but I guess crap happens but anyway um, this journey was a little bit different. It took a little bit longer than the last time. And I don't know if it's because my hair was a lot shorter and or what. I, I really don't know. But um, it was successful. Um, you know, being in Iraq, it, it grew. I mean, I, I started growing it back in my, well, I'm just going to say my last cut haircut was in May of 2009 and um, I left there in October and I um, that's when I really really began my journey um, things that were important for me big um, things that I um, went by and I lived by was one I did not perm use heat or um, any chemicals in my hair in the summer times and I would start maybe I'd start in the first week of May and I would not put any chemicals of any sort or any heat in my hair until the first week of October now that's a personal choice you that's not something that you have to do that's just something that worked for me so I went uh, June, July, August, September. So about five months free. But um, even on the times where I do use heat, which is mainly in the fall and the winter time, I really don't um, tend to use a lot of heat even then. Um, I wash every two weeks. I blow dry. And I flat iron. And then I'll wrap or whatever. Um or I roller set and I sit under the dryer. I really don't do that too much because it's long. And I'm lazy. Plus I have a daughter and I have to do her hair. So, you know, I do, you know, she's six. Well, she'll be six next, this week. So, you know, I kind of keep, and she's natural. So I kind of have to maintain her hair a little bit better than mine. Um, But... I just wanted to show you some things that I use now less is more so I use next to no heat and definitely no heat in the summer times because my hair it's the sun damage and all that other stuff already was a lot um, I always got to trim every six to eight weeks that's very important at least to me because I don't like my hair to look like it's unhealthy um, what I use is um, I use Biolage products. Um, damn, made my bed all wet. Excuse me. 
face can my husband's gonna be like, what is this? But um I use Biolodge products and um I use the Matrix Biolodge Exquisite Oil Shampoo. And I use the conditioner. And I like I said, every two weeks I do it. And um when I wash and I blow dry, I use Nexus, but I don't, I think my, I think it's in my daughter's bathroom. I don't know where it is. So, um, I don't have that to show you guys, but, um, I usually put that on my hair before I blow dryer and I flat iron it. Um, then I just basically flat iron and after I flat iron and every time before I wrap and after I take my wraps down for the day, I use this. The exquisite oil this is what I use and um, that's the only oil I use um, a lot of people that I used for inspiration on YouTube for their hair joinings and their big chops or whatever um, they used a lot of um, stuff that just didn't work for me like anything thick and oily my hair never did well with grease or any type of real oil. So I tried the Moroccan oil. Mm -mm. Didn't work. Used the castor oil and all that other oil, tea tree oil. Just didn't work. So I use it work for me. And this is what works for me. Works very well. And um, I do have edge problems. So... If any of you guys watching have any um, good ideas for me as far as my edges is concerned, please leave a message down below, video, whatever. I need help. But um, <clears throat> as far as like treatments or whatever for my edges, I was using the um, Dr. Miracle's Follicle Healer. This stuff. I really don't see much of anything. I might need to go to the doctor. You know, for years and years and years and years while I was in the army, I had to wear my hair up and back and it was always really, really tight. And I think, I think you can see it. Actually, it's getting a little better and that's because I started using um, Baby Don't Be Bald. I use it on my daughter and it works on my daughter. So I was like, hello, if it work on her. It might work for Johnny's. So I, I did try it and, and it has been working. Um, and what you do with this is you use it like two to three times a week and you just massage it in there for like two minutes and then keep it moving. But I do it every day. Um, but that's pretty much my hair journey. Um, during my hair journey, I, I, I wore a lot of weaves. I wore a lot of... Um, half wigs I wore a lot of lace fronts and I really feel like those methods are very very good as long as you know how to maintain your hair and um, that way I didn't have to touch my hair I let it let nature run its course and do what it had to do and I didn't have to um, worry about much of anything I'm not a braiding person and I mean braids are beautiful and I mean I would love braids but I am will literally have a panic attack sitting there for hours upon hours upon hours my hair is thick and I'm not about to be sitting there plus um, my area their salons are mm -mm, so I do everything myself well, no, that's a lie. I don't cut it myself. I, I do have a good um, a good person that I do go to. Um, she cuts it for me. Every once in a while, she'll blow dry for me. But she's in a salon that um, <clears throat> is extremely expensive. And um, sometimes I like to spend money on other things like shoes, clothes, and makeup. Because, I mean, I could do this all myself, but I will not cut my own hair. Plus, I wanted bangs and she didn't want to cut them. So I was like, um, you didn't want to cut them. What the hell? 
But maybe she's right. I don't know what she was talking about. Something about volume, whatever. I don't care. But anyway, I'm still contemplating if I want to do that or not. But anyway, just wanted to, this is a quick video, you know, to say, hey, kind of reingrate myself back into the whole YouTube thing. Um, but that's my hair journey. I do have a few pictures at the end of the video. So, um, thanks guys for watching. Thanks for my subscribers. I don't have many, but I, I do appreciate it. And um, I'll holla at you guys later. Peace.